Snake, what happened? Snake? No snakes here, only lizards. Well, 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 this doesn't look like Ocarina of Time, does it? But it is something reminiscent of 1998. <laughs> so, uh, just random plans coming out of nowhere. I saw this indie game uh, getting released yesterday for the Summer Slow Jam, I think it's called. Another Game Jam game. It's been a while since I've done an Indie Wednesday, so uh, I thought I would check this one out today because this game looks pretty cool. They definitely went all out with the theming, if you couldn't tell. It's called Covert Critter Tactical Animal Espionage. And it's uh, reminiscent of a certain game with metal and gears and boxes and snakes. Ah, Colonel. I'm trying to avoid copyright infringement. But my references are too dummy thick. <laughs> but uh, you'll see in a second. This game was worth worth playing today. We might get to Ocarina of Time later if there's time. But uh, if you're on the YouTube, you know you know whether or not I played that. You're in the future. Uh, let me just show y'all what it looks like. That's not the menu music. That's just Metal Gear music. This though. Uh huh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> it is literally just the menu from Metal Gear Solid 1. I I haven't played this yet. I started the first cutscene a little bit just to make sure it all worked. But oh my gosh. The one saving grace. That that art in the middle. That's not Metal Gear. That's 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 Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. It's got eight levels. Uh the story is pretty reminiscent of Metal Gear. Let me actually put up their itch.io page. So, you know, if you want it, it's free. You can download it. It's by Soda Raptor, Normal Human 6. You are Koss, a covert operations specialist skilled with tactics, evasion, and camouflage. Terrorists known as the Red Hawks have taken over the Gecko Research Facility. With it, they have direct control over a massive array of nuclear weapons and plan to use them. It's up to you to infiltrate the facility, make your way through eight different levels, spread across varying environments, and remain cloaked in the shadows. Ah. A little bit of a spoiler, but it definitely looks very Metal Gear. <laughs> All right, let's see if it makes a gunshot when I select something. Does not, I'm already disappointed. I am impressed by, look at this. Game Indie games have really nailed the PlayStation 1 style. Not just low poly, but compressed sound, d dithered colors, wobbly polygons. Must have been my imagination. <laughs> oh, it's already so good. Look at the way he climbs out of the vent! That's not sus, that's stylish. That's the same way that Snake does it in Metal Gear. There's the guy, he's got his cigarette. He can see laser grids. I should mention this game doesn't have controller support yet. I was ready to like bust out my controller and everything, but I gotta have to play with keyboard, so that'll excuse my gameplay. Look at this, 140.85. <laughs> this is Koss. Command, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Koss. What's the situation? I've managed to successfully infiltrate the Gecko facility. Security seems tight. Understood. You haven't been in the field for a while, so let's do a basic rundown of your mission objectives. As mentioned in your briefing, the Gecko facility has been overtaken by the Red Hawks. They're an organization that specializes in terrorizing the Gecko population. I'm well aware. They've been on the offense against Geckos for as long as I can remember. Correct. And now they're going a step further and taking hold of our nuclear armaments. The parameters of this operation depend on you remaining quiet and out of sight. All equipment is OSP so you'll need to be crafty with anything you find. You'll surely come across a variety of gadgets that will help you. Be sure to read the instructions on each one when you pick it up. Like the uh, parentheses for the, for the terms. They didn't read those out loud in Metal Gear Solid 1, no no. You can access your inventory using the tab key and pause the game with escape. 
The facility is comprom comp comprised of eight sectors, all of which you'll need to sneak through in order to reach the nuclear sector. For this operation, avoid lethal force. Times are sensitive, and we don't want a bureaucratic maelstrom coming down on us. Got it. I'll be sure to politely ask them if I can pass through. Who knows? You didn't try, maybe they'll let you. Seriously, Koss. You must utilize all possible stealth elements in order to retake the facility and stop a nuclear launch. When do we find the remains of, Mi of Big Boss? When do I talk to Master Miller? It's been a long time, Snake. From this point on, maintain complete radio silence for the duration of the mission. Understood? Roger that. Okay, I'm ready to go. Commencing Operation Gecko. Radio silence, huh? Oh, that's the only codec then? I'm a little disappointed. Right, this is as far as I've seen. So it's Metal Gear. You can press up against walls. You actually have like Octo Camo. Literally just chameleon circuit or chameleon skin. Um, you can't knock on the walls as far as I know, so that's a little bit different. I don't know if they programmed the AI, but I guess they didn't. Welcome to the Gecko facility. Walk through the door to begin training. First of all, I got some items over here. I got banana peel, straight out of Mario Kart, drone, gift box. I'm not going to waste these because I only have one. I did try them earlier, though. Ah. Ooh, look at the shadow, though. That's better lighting than a PS1. I love that the game's even in 4-3. You got sneaking, you got crouch walking. Definitely at some point I'm gonna have to choke a guard out. Oh, what's this? Green! Yes. Yes, it is. But what does it do for me? I think it's a key card, actually. It uses the salts in your body to open the door. It's a salt sensing door snake. It opens for all League of Legends players. Use space to enable your camo while pressed on a wall. <sighs> it's a pretty beefy camo bar. I wonder how often we'll need to use it. Dun 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 Ooh! Surveillance camera? Watch out for cameras, I'm trolling guards. I got this. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. <sighs> I think there might have been an N64 game or two with lighting like this. I remember Conker's Bad Fur Day in the, uh, the, the horror level in Items Off the Beaten Path. Oh. Like this? When do I get my night vision goggles? <laughs> Mealworm? That's my ration, huh? Um... I guess it's automatic? Controls don't say anything about opening a secondary inventory, so it's not like Metal Gear. The horror level in Conker's Bad Fur Day, it actually had, like, dynamic shadows. I was watching somebody play it not too long ago. Dun 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 dun! Impressive, Snake. Would be impressive if I had done that in a decent amount of time. All right. It's our first real mission. Enemies can hear your footsteps. To remain silent, use right mouse to sneak around. Ah. I can't afford to be green around the gills this time. Ah! Okay. I didn't know the security camera had a gun on it. We're off to a great start. Boombox? Noisemaker. Made to strike the enemy. Lasts a short time. Eight. <laughs> the, the guns? Okay, I was not expecting the guns. It's like that one part of Metal Gear Solid 1 where you're going up the stairs and there's just... Guard his key, crouch behind, grab it when the prompt appears. Grab it with what? You're going up the stairs and there's like camera mounted guns everywhere. Green. Oh, I don't have the green key anymore. At least there's no alarm. Yeah, I 
I'm thankful for that. That they're not doing exact Metal Gear Solid rules. A lot of Metal Gear fan games do it where if you get so much as seen, you automatically lose. I don't, I definitely don't agree with that. The point of Metal Gear is that you get that little grace period of... Ooh, ooh he's got the key. Ooh. Oh, he's moving too fast. Oh! <laughs> Barely had a sight. Didn't even need my noisemaker, huh? Can I see the entire map? Uh, there's part of the room over there, but I don't know if there's anything cool up there. I'm gonna try sneaking past him. Let's see what this does. <laughs> I'm too smart for him. Bum bum bum. Oh, that's that's the subjective. The subjective. The objective. All right, I'm gonna go back and see what I can open with that green key door. Uh, what? Hello? You don't see me. What do you mean? This game's a little, a little buggy. Just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm glad this game doesn't do the immediate loss thing. That should be a reserved for like hard mode or something. Yeah, highest difficulty. You know, canonical to what Big Boss would have done. This is a Game Jam game, so I'm... I'm pretty sure it's not actually that long. Banana. The said bandana. Okay. Alright. Not sure if I get a bonus. Someone was hungry. Oh. I hope he's in the path of that. No. Boing. Waste of a perfectly good compost item. Could have helped give nutrients to my azaleas. Man. I'll wait over here. Actually, I can just wait over here, can't I? Solid Snake wishes he had camouflage like this. <laughs> Noise. Let's get out of here. Let's -a go. Dum bum 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 bum. All right, looks like this game actually isn't that long. We'll be. Looks like we'll be playing Ocarina at times sooner than later. I'm liking it though. Look at how much they modeled these fans for the dynamic lighting. Dun, 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 da, da, ba, da, da, da. You wonder how long the jam was? According to the intro of this game, there it was made in 12 days. So probably 12 days or a little bit more. All right. Okay. Checking out the West Wing first. All right, we're doing good. Red gift box. And a mealworm. I'm hoping I'm not wasting the mealworm by getting it while I have full health. Could have used it last time when I got shot like twice. It is interesting. The Metal Gear series has left its mark on video games for sure but like a true new entry in the series like that advances the plot hasn't really happened since Metal Gear Solid 4 Peace Walker is canon 5 is canon those don't really advance the plot of 
Solid Snake and Big Boss as far as just filling gaps. And I like them. I, I think Metal Gear Solid 5 has some of the best gameplay in the entire series. But like story-wise, you can kind of do without them. Which makes me sad because they are fantastic games with fantastic plots. Uh oh. Nope. Nobody here. Nobody here but us chickens. Oh, I meant to do that. Ha. Uh. Sir, have you heard of personal space? All right, that doesn't function exactly the way I thought it would. Let's play Jay. What, you were ending already? Oh, man. Well, it seems I've been discovered. Start the alert phase. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. Jay, how's it going? How was the Paper Mario's? I just saw you beat Tootin' Koopa. Why that Koopa be Tootin' though? Ah, we're just trying to sneak around. I'm a lizard. Blue. Ah, looks like that guard Blue's opportunity to find the intruder. Yeah. Jay, Soul, welcome back. Zalfira, Ganymede. How is it going? Y'all have a good time? We're playing this indie game called Covert Critter. Looks like a love letter to Metal Gear Solid. Has about eight levels. It's not too long. I recommend you check it out if you like Metal Gear. If you haven't played Metal Gear, you should play it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna be like pushing Metal Gear onto everybody I know on the streaming community. Is this, it's a game jam game. It was made in 12 days. It looks pretty nice. Look, you get to have a drone and fly it around. I haven't actually used this on stream yet. Let's see. Ooh. Does this thing have infinite battery? No, there's a timer. Stream went great. Karen for your throat. Ooh, yeah. Definitely. Whenever I... I, I, I know that all too well. Definitely. It's good that you're getting... That you're taking a little break and calling it when you need to call it. Yeah. Chill out and uh, we'll be playing this. Maybe some Ocarina later though. Have you played Metal Gear Solid, Jay? Excellent series. Oh, it's dark in here. Don't, don't lizards have night vision? Oh no! You know what I just remembered? The drone's supposed to be my night vision. <laughs> Not remember, but I just realized that because it had night vision. I have to go find it. <laughs> I went this way, right? Bum bum. Dum dum. There you go. And night vision goggles. Oh wow, that's perfect. Everything's coming up, Snake. Ah. The game opened with a codec conversation, and I was so happy to do the voices for it, but then the character was like, from now on, your mission will be radio silenced. And I just like, oh, it's Metal Gear. You got to have constant codec. Like one of the reasons they had so much codec in Metal Gear Solid 2 was because they ran out of budget or didn't want to spend the budget on. Ooh, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a hawk over there. Oh, 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 I'm just gonna, there you go. Swing. Ah! Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Perfect. Why does he have night vision? He's wearing sunglasses. He should be extra unable to see. So, Blade, you're going to play the OG Metal Gears? I recommend playing the versions that came with the uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 substance. Or subsistence. Oh, huh? uh, no, no, no. I didn't crouch walk. Oops. Since they've got modern translations and everything, might as well, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Is there no alert phase? Oh, they're just here to... They're just here to shoot at me. That's not as bad. Please leave. I do not want to slit your throat. Because I cannot do that in this game. I'm sorry. Dun 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 dun
Jay can't wait to try it, debating on whether or not she can watch Drew play it. I'd say it's probably best when... Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I feel like I'm cheating a little bit. Is this a second guard or is it the same guy? Oh, come on, you turned around? Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Bubba. Now that I know there's no alert phase, shouldn't I just run through everything? Like they can't they can't shoot me. I'm too fast. Seriously, I'm just going. Da -da -da. Got the red key card. You've never been in the stealth games. I never really have been either until I started playing Mill Gear Solid. Oh hi. Bye. Right. Got half my life left. That's more than enough to kill anything that moves. Or to be killed by anything that moves. <laughs> there you go. Did something stealthy through this? Oh, it's so bright. B E A U. Tiffle. Yeah, I never played Metal Gear until uh, Solid Snake was announced for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And I had known about him as a character. As you know, I, I, I had the gaming magazines for PlayStation as a kid, but mostly just for the demo discs. I never actually bought that many PlayStation games because the demos tidied me over. Like, I never bought Spyro 1 because the demo disc for Spyro was too good. So, uh... Yeah, I knew about Solid Snake, but I never played his game, so I got Twin Snakes for the GameCube. Yeah, I started Metal Gear with Twin Snakes. It's not the best option, but it works. And I was hooked. These games are silly. Kojima, I follow Kojima on Twitter. He, uh, he's definitely had a heck of a month. Ooh, we got an icy area? I see. I'm one cool customer. Are we sliding? No, we're not. When do I fight Vulcan Raven? Dun 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 Boba. Mark of the Ninja. I played that game. It's a really good stealth platformer. With Metal Gear, it's it's interesting that yeah, it's a stealth game. Like, I'm not gonna argue against that. But it's pretty lenient when it comes to letting you be found. As long as you can hide or somehow manage through not eliminating the enemies, but just surviving them. Then you can just carry on as if nothing happened. There's no big penalty. It's a pretty accommodating series, actually. The story! Oh, the story! I can say things about the story. This game has... this the Metal Gear as a series has so much lore, it's clear that Kojima is <laughs> a really big fan of, uh action movies, let's just say. If you follow his Twitter, you'll see him just, like, review movies. All the time. Bilbo, what's up? Your first Metal Gear was Snake's Revenge. Oh, yeah, I think I remember you saying that. That's so odd. <laughs> was it a good game? Oh, hi. Oh, bye. I'm out of here. Got my mealworm. You can't see me, I'm invisible. Isn't Spyro's one demo you can actually explore the whole game? I remember it being at least one level. I think it was just one. But it was... a pretty big level, I will say. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. I was reading chat. Jay, you apparently were still streaming? Oh. oh no, I've seen that. I've done that before. You know what's fun? When you realize people are doing that and you go to their VOD right after to see how they're reacting to your stream during uh, what's supposed to be a little private time. E, e, e. E, e, e. Oh. Beep, beep. Who has a key? Somebody's gotta have a key, right? I'm going to die. 
No, 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 no. Wilbur also read the Metal Gear novelization. I should crouch walk. It's a good idea. Do, do, do. This looks like a place I haven't been yet. Got my mealy worms. Whoop. Oh, hello. Oh, another air radar jamming zone. Point, you know what? I didn't need the radar anyway. I just need my instincts. Run! Get to the chopper! Oh, this is open. Blue. Apparently, Snake's Revenge is competent? Not bad, not fantastic. At one point, Kojima complimented the game, but his stance is flip flopped. But what, what I heard was that Kojima was so disappointed with Snake's Revenge being like, yeah, I wanted to end the game with the first game, but since people made a sequel without my permission, I'm going to make my own sequel so that we don't end on that note. <laughs> Maybe he didn't hate it, but definitely Snake's Revenge is not the sequel he would have wanted to make. That's one thing that makes the Metal Gear series so odd. Every Basically, every entry of it was Kojima saying, like, this is the last game I will ever make. Metal Gear was just supposed to be a one-off game. Then Konami made a sequel, so Kojima's like, all right, we'll make a second one. And then the switch to 3D is like, Kojima, please make a cool game for, our, for the 3D PlayStation console. It has so much power. Kojima's like, okay, you're taking me out of retirement? I'll make the story about Snake coming out of retirement. Oh, that's not blue, that's green. Colors. I think my controls are just gonna be sprint and crouch. Those are gonna be my two states. I don't see much of a reason to why, because you get hurt anyway. <laughs> Gotta find the blue door. Got to find the blue door. Can you crouch walk again while pressed against the wall? I cannot, actually. Ah, oh, that's one thing I loved doing in Middle Gear. I was trying to earlier, it confused me a little bit. Oh! Either I barely dodged the gun or the camera wasn't gonna see me anyway. Alright. Alright, this looks like red! How many keys do I need in this gosh dang level? All right, so green is on the top left, red's in the bottom left. Gotta find blue. Blue door. Good thing is, oh no no. The good thing is that you do automatically stay in crouching if you pressed up against the wall while you're crouching. I think they just didn't make an animation for it. It's clearly saving the state. Next Revenge was very action heavy compared to the original Metal Gear. That makes sense. You heard the story was Kojima never thought of a sequel. A co-worker met him on a train and begged him to think of a proper sequel. Hmm. Well, Kojima did agree at the very least. Reminds you of another indie game that borrows from PS1? What is it? Maybe I've heard of it. This has got to be blue. I think? Oh, this is where I came from. That one right there. See that? That door on the top? Just looking at the Soliton, not Soliton radar. It's the Lunaton radar. It uses the moon's energy. Moonlight! Oh, that door is dead. I'm a little confused. Okay, is there a guard here that has a key that I didn't see earlier? I'm gonna have to look carefully. Nope. Oh no. Hi, buddy. What you want? Store's closed. Come back later. We're all out of intruders. 
New shipment next week. Dun 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 da da. Dun 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 da da. Dun 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 da da. Ba da da. Alright, I guess I'm going back to this area. I must have missed something. Really? Squidgy Bump. Yo, yo. How's it going? We're sneaking around. Not very well, but we are sneaking around. This has definitely been the, the, the biggest level so far. This is the blue door. I'm in. Oh, I opened this already. Oh no. This level is preying upon streamers' inability to persist locations in brain. Object permanence at all time low. Metal bird solid? No, no. Metal chameleon solid. <sighs> That's not the sound of my character. That's just the sound that uh, camouflage makes when you use it. <sighs> oh. oh, that guy had a red key. I saw it. That's what I'm missing. How can I distract him? Decoy. Cardboard cutout. Tricks nearby enemies. Last for a short time or until destroyed. Yeah, let's try it. You're probably good. You're probably good. Looks more like an inflatable to me. Like in freaking Metal Gear Solid 5. The ones that just repeat voice lines. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Got it. Ah! That decoy did nothing. <laughs> Smooth. Guy didn't know what hit him. He'll see the cardboard cut out and be like, man, I should kill this guy. He'll be so proud of himself. So proud. I'll let him have his victory. Looks like the decoys from Ratchet and Clank. Probably the same idea. What I really like about the ones in Metal Gear Solid 5 is that they're clearly balloons, and when you when you knock into them or punch them, they just wobble back and forth like a like a punching bag. Like one of those clown punching bags from Rugrats. Hi, I'm Bapo. Hi, I'm Bapo. Hi, I'm Bapo. Anything else I can use? Distract an enemy. Here, gift for you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, that works. Surprise! Meal. Green. Decoy. Decoy. Octopus. You know what I would love? If, if the decoy was actually like... An octopus curled into the shape of a lizard? So it would be a stealth Metal Gear reference? Haha, <laughs> stealth reference. Haha! -ha. I am definitely over time for this level. I apologize to the developers of this game. They made it open-ended. Not even in a complicated way either. It's just, it just is. That real gift was the street release of death for that guy. And they said I wasn't allowed to use violence. Hello? Also, I like how they said everything was OSP, but they star me off with these three things. Yeah, I ate a banana while I was here. That's on site. Hey, this looks like the office where you first meet Otacon. It straight up looks like the office where you first meet Otacon. <laughs> like, if there's lockers over here... Okay, so there's no lockers. But there might have been. 
They might have smelled pretty bad. Right about now, you wish I, you had the Pagona emotes I use. I can't wait to see if Desert Pagona plays this. This game is perfect for him. I'm surprised he's not playing it right now. One of the only partner streamers I actually watch these days. From the Vine Sauce community. Meal? Worm. What are you shooting at? Camera misfired. Did you guys see that, um, those robots that, like, look like dogs? Uh-oh. The ones that, like, do the funny dances and funny walks. Oh, that guy has a key. I gotta come back for him later. No, now. He's got the red key. Come on, camera. And then... Right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna deploy the decoy. I'm gonna wait for the guard to come back around. Oh, I can't press on this wall! Oh, my plan ruined! Don't worry, he'll come back. Come on, just a few more steps this way, buddy. This, no! How else can I attract him? Nothing. Let's try that again. Huh? Ah! Birthday present. Here, take it. Wonderful. I'll take you. Oh, I can't take it while he's dead. I'll just wait then. Got it. <laughs> he won't know what hit him. Look out, Kevin's coming with a big pot of chili. Dang it, Kevin! I told you not to spill it all over the place. Now we're gonna have to clean up. This is where they filmed the office, don't you know? Why can't I choke the guards? That's an essential part of Metal Gear. Huh? Oh, there is a crouching wall animation. That's interesting. Hi! Dude's on to me. Uh, 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 uh. Go faster. You're green. Woo! You like how the item boxes say banana instead of actually showing a banana. And then it's a banana peel in your inventory. You think the item boxes are just dropping actual bananas? And then Koss is eating them off screen. That's gotta be what's happening. Ah, tasty. Boy. Yeah, this game could stand to be a little more difficult, but it's a game jam game. They probably wanted to finish testing it before the game jam time was over. So you know, I was talking about Metal Gear being lenient. This is even more lenient. Hey, yay, yay. Come on, banana. Step on it. Step on it. That works too. Um. Hey! Stop it. Trip on one of these, man. I put two. Nice. The funny has been achieved. I'm a master of comedy. Waka waka! I've got a blue key, but... Oh, it's dark over there. I bet the night vision goggles are on the left side, then. Ooh. If we have a boss fight with an actual fox, you're gonna laugh. Hey. And what if the fox is gray? Dun, dun. That says night... Okay, that says night vision goggles. Hey! You're not supposed to be able to aim down there! This is breaking the rules. Ah. 
It says NVG, but I thought it said like nug. Like chicken nuggies. I would have loved. Just gets a five pack. Get a get a twenty pack from McDonald's. Only only five dollars. Except in my area where they've raised the price to like six. And that's when I stopped going to McDonald's. Banana banana. Ring 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 ring. Banana phone. Do do ba do ba do. Ding dong ding dong ding dong ding. Banana phone. It's no baloney. It ain't no phony. My cellular. Banana phone. Well, that's a good camera. I'm glad I somehow avoided it. Except I didn't now. Oh, there's a dude. Can I use on him? Banana. I'm going to set the record for most alerts. Oh! Gotta crouch before you steal. Another camera! I'm having enough of this. Ah, that looks like Psycho Mantis's area. I don't have a controller port too. Do I unplug my, my keyboard and put it in another USB port? Buddy. Oh, this is, this is very Psycho Mantis. Which level is this? I'm going through this game faster than I thought. Do 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 do. Well, the reflections on the ground, just like Psycho Mantis's area, and the busts. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. I see what's happening. All right. There's, this is something about fan games in general. I'm surprised at the amount of them that don't... Like... Yeah, of course, if it's too similar, people are gonna get suspicious. But I wonder why some of them don't just take, like, exact control schemes... ...at the very least, and just copy them out. Like, you can have a stealth game, but... ...whether or not you can crouch, or go prone, or aim... It always differs per game. Splinter Cell, Hitman, Metal Gear. It makes it kind of hard to switch between them because they all control completely differently. Wait, what did I pick up? Noisemaker? Where's... Where do I go? You like the reflection effects. It's funny how you can tell this is a Game Jam game that was a little bit pressed for time because when the camera goes behind the wall you can see the rendering go underneath the actual floor look look there's a there's a picture frame in the in the ground because it's the reflection of this one it's how you do it it's always a nice effect people have been doing it since 1998 or earlier 1998 I'll never forget it. It was the year those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Okay, I'm a little lost. There's not much to do. Maybe there's a secret entrance behind one of the bookcases? Oh, hello? What was that? Oh! Okay! That's all I had to do. All I had to do was say secret entrance. I don't know what triggered it, but I'll take it. All right, where's Meryl? Guess I gotta go to the bathroom. You you would only think to go through a secret entrance there if you had played Metal Gear Solid. Oh my God. Ooh, hello? There's a person here. Who are you? Can I kill them? You're just watching the area, aren't you? 
don't have anything on you. <laughs> uh, nothing useful. All right. Straight up Psychomantis's room. Even the secret door. I didn't even have to change controller ports. E e e. Oh, hello. Greetings. It is me, Wall. Is he gonna come back around? He is. I gotta hightail it out of here. Oop, 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 oop. You'll never hit me. You'll never hit my tiny head. I got such a tiny little head. Okay, this is a no radar area, but I can peek into it a little bit. Go this way. Uh huh. I'm wondering if somebody here might have a key. Is that guy looking at the vending machine? Is he trying to buy something? <laughs> sure. It's like that part of Shenmue where you're trying to buy that delivery guy a soda, but instead you give him a banana. It's healthier. Sugar's sh soda's full of sugar. Ooh, person's got a key. They're not paying attention. That man is playing Galaga. Yes, sir. Beautiful. There's Kevin. He's got the chili. He wanted a soda pot to go with his chili. So you know how Left 4 Dead took the idea of a single player first person shooter? Oh, okay. And turned it into a multiplayer game? I want them to do the same kind of thing to other genres, especially like stealth espionage. I want a multiplayer Metal Gear. All right, well. And you know what? I just re realized that kind of, kind of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker was exactly like that. So I should play Peace Walker. I didn't think about it initially because I never actually played Peace Walker. Well, I have played it. I just never finished it or played it with multiplayer. Do you know there was a Monster Hunter crossover? It's really good. What's going on here? Feels like there should be more in this room. I needed a key to get inside. Dusk 317337, what's up? Ow, wow, wow. You have that already? Then uh, I should play it, whatever it is. Multiplayer in Metal Gear. I mean, like a co op one. Ay, ay. Oh no, it's just like the last level. I have to figure out which area I haven't already been in. PS3 has Spies vs. Mercs mode on PC. That sounds competitive. Like, are is Mercs a team made of actual players? I'm saying I want more story-based multiplayer games. That's what I really liked about Left 4 Dead. I experienced the story with friends and then we played it as if it was just a single-player first-person shooter. But then we were the characters, man. Ah, no lizards here, man. You're seeing things. Take off your sunglasses. You're indoors. The Monster Hunter crossover canonizes that Snake uh, Big Boss can understand cats. You got it when you interact with palicos. It's necessary. Ah. KS3 has co-op mode too. Is it just two players? I guess that satisfies the requirements. 
I would love a four-player stealth game, though. I don't know how that would work, but I would love it. Co-op does tie into single-player. Okay. Okay, what other single-player game could use a Left 4 Dead-style co-op multiplayer experience? Let's, let's ask that question. Green. Oh, I have green. Yeah, baby. These levels are getting complex. And that was a rank A? Well, well, well. I feel accomplished. Next stage. I feel like this might be the last one. Please tell me there's like a liquid, liquid chameleon. Wow, the first Metal Gear game that actually has you play as a reptile. You'd think they would have thought of this before. Snake! Oh, gift box, gift box, banana, banana. We broke into the company gift room. They were saving all of that for the company holiday party. I just stole the free iPad that they were gonna give away. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 do. Uh, a couple years ago, my office was doing a just deep cleanup of a lot of stuff that was just in the supply rooms. Um, I found a really old box with holiday decorations and gifts inside. I think they were prizes to give away during one of the holiday parties, but they never got given away. Because inside the box was a brand new, never used iPod Shuffle. And it's like, when's the last time you purposefully used an iPod Shuffle? Because yeah, there's, there's benefit to having an iPod to store music when your phone maybe is out of space. But Shuffle is like... I don't know about you guys, but I had an iPod Shuffle as a kid because... My parents couldn't afford the regular iPod. Or when they did, they, you know, they used it themselves. And I got the Shuffle. Alright. So, doors I've seen so far. There's a blue door, red door, I think. There's a blue door for sure. I wasn't paying too much attention. You can see the Thief games working co-op. Take two thieves on the level. Work together. Yeah, something like more stealth. I've never actually played the multiplayer in Peace Walker, so I don't know if... That game is more mission-based than anything, so it... Multiplayer makes sense for that one. Uh oh, someone's coming. Uh, it's a mealworm. Oh. You can just complete an individual mission in one area with a bunch of people. Maybe objectives are like destroying certain targets. Hey, what? You can't see me. I don't exist. This works way better than the camouflage in any Metal Gear I'll have you know. What was that noise? There's someone in this room. I'm gonna use the drone to scout it. Okay, there's a dude. He's looking for his sun chippies. Found one with the blue key. I'll need to... Yeah, I'll need to... Get them. Oh, I left the drone back over there. I guess they can keep it. <laughs> it's theirs now. You play Peace Walker. First game with a bunch of quick times. That was an interesting era of video games. You just know when something came out in the late 2000s, mid, early 2010s, that they have quick time events. Because it feels like that just disappeared from game. Yeah, nobody, nobody. 
No, 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 I don't want it. Just disappeared from games after a while, didn't it? Didn't you know Mr. Pagona was participating. Oh, you know, we got a guest. We got a guest, Lizard. Except he's a chameleon this time. He's learned a few tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> decoy, decoy. I need the blue key. Should I risk it? For the biscuit? Yo, Pikachu, what is up? How are you doing? Hope you're having a nice day. We're sneaking around. Clapping some cheeks. Except they might be my cheeks. Stop. No. Die. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I actually died. Oh. Da, 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 da. Goss. What happened? Goss. Goss. I'm embarrassed. Ooh. I'll make up to it for you. I'll make up for it to you guys. This is pro gameplay stream from here on out. I promise. Wine Red, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the chicken coop. Grab a nest, get comfy, and enjoy the uh, freshly fried chicken. That was my previous corpse. Yes, that's right. We don't waste any meat around here. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice fifth. Pika's doing fine, a little tired. I feel that. Definitely. I thought today might have been a shorter stream, but uh, looks like I might not get that. No, don't look for me. I'm not suspicious. I am normal chicken. Playing normal game. But uh, I think we're right at the end of that. Let's start! Surveillance camera. No! Eh. I realize now that is my... That is functionally my, my, my kill combo. Ooh, papa. Wine rib, how's it going? Thank you, thank you. Before Cozy Chicken, after Minoka Insomnia. That's me. I had a nice little time. I was, uh. Oh no, oh no. Good. Again, another one! It's party time over here. Everyone wants to congregate at the door, the party door. This is why it's the party door. You get free motion sickness. It's not a party unless you throw up, right? Be if all. Oh, uh, what? I didn't even. I. How? Excuse me. All I did was stand up. For my my right to party at the party door. Oh jeez. What? What did you see? What did he see? Blade Vancer's back with sesame orange chicken. Ooh. Did you make it yourself? Oh, that is weird. He can go through the door. Can I sneak in behind him? <laughs> While he opens it? He doesn't have a green key. Alright. Alright, here we go. Uh, gift? Huh? It's for you! Ring, ring! It's for me! It's your chance to be a big shot, pal. Be a big, be a big, be a big shot. Green. And now I know there's a green door on the bottom right. Must have been the wind. For dinner, I had some... I had a salmon teriyaki bowl 
But I had the option to substitute the teriyaki sauce with, like, orange chicken sauce. I tried it out. It was very sweet. I don't know what I expected. <laughs> but hey, I've never seen a, a restaurant allow you to do that. Hmm. What we got over here? I know somebody comes into this room every so often, but why? Oh, there's a night vision. Ah! I hate the cameras in this game. They just shoot me. Doesn't matter if you're under them or not. The orange chicken is homemade, but with the sauces and chicken chunks coming from boxes. Eh, somewhere in between store-bought and homemade. I'll I'll give you the credit for that one, Blade. I will allow it. Oh, somebody's here, but I don't know who. Somebody's calling me. I don't know what. No one stops Knuckles' feet. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. Down in Pumpkin Hill, I gotta find the lost piece. I know that it's here. I can sense it in my feet. Ah! Great Emerald's power allowed me to feel. Do you have the blue? I can't see. It's too bright. Ah, there's too many people here. No. Tactical, get away! Pocket sand! Pocket banana! After all that, I still don't have the blue key. Where did all these guys come from? Huh? You! <laughs> he pushed me away! That was all part of my plan. That was all part of the plan. Okay, so I now I know. The guy with the blue key comes around here. I just have to stand here and wait. Wait for him. Line ribs doing good. Good work day, fitting in a workout, cozy time. That sounds really nice. Actually, probably what I should be doing right about now. Oh, I'm out of camouflage. Well, there was a blue door guy. Where is he? Oh, let me scout him out. Drone. Dun, dun. Oh, he's there. He just left. What? Dun, 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 dun. Get the box? What's with the alarm? Mr. Guardman! Listen to me, I am here! If only I had a boombox! There he goes. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your iPod shuffling your brains. <laughs> oh, God. We got it. what was that? I can't I couldn't read that. That was too bright. I guess it was a key. All right, we got all our keys. We're all set to go. Shut up. I've had enough of your bull. Talk about a low budget flight. No food or movies. I'm out of here. Banana, banana. What the cluck? You know what the cluck, shark. You know what. Your daily recommended dose of mealworms. Open up. There's a gun. Gun camera! I've had it up to here with the gun cameras. I am just... I am just leaving. No! Oh, oh, oh. Years ago, you wanted to make orange chicken, but from scratch. Oh, hi. Arr! That guy's aim is really bad. He must be a stormtrooper. We're going for the marathon, baby! Hoo, hoo, hoo. That guy's still deciding on his snack. Ooh. You bought something called Innovation? 
Innovation? I don't, I don't know if I trust that brand on principle now. But, uh, sure, was it good? Frozen food, you cook the meat, add the sauce. Your folks wanted something more spicy. Tried General Souls and it was too, too spicy? Something was out of the box too spicy? Doesn't sound like, uh... Doesn't sound like a product that hit the mark, in my opinion, then. Gift box. Huh? Huh? How'd you see that through the door? No matter. Why? Stop! No, 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 I'm almost out of life. El Senor de Polio, you have to ask. Opinion on a new cat game, Stray? I've seen people play it. Well, I haven't seen people play it. I've seen everybody talking about it. I'm sure it has, like, a super epic hidden story that you have to actually play to know about. It looks adorable. I like the premise that it takes place in, like, an actual developed city. So it's not just, oh, you're a cat in the country suddenly doing cat things. No, you're in a city dealing with people and society. Society as a cat. Ho ho. We live in a society. To be fair, to be sure. Stop. Stop. Don't handle spice all too well. I, hmm. The concept of the spice. It's, I, I actually am convinced it's a genetic thing. Because my parents have never had spicy food around the house. They can handle it, they just don't like it. So, I didn't really even have that much spicy food until I went to college, basically. Or at least high school, and I tried some hot Cheetos once. Oh, I don't like this. There's no EMP bomb or anything? I have to use the drone to first person mode. What is this? Oh, there is an item there. And a mealworm. That's worth doing. Uh, I'm scared that the gun's gonna shoot me anyway. That's been happening. I got a second drone? Sure? Hmm. But, uh, long story short, I- I can handle spicy food. I... These days, just... I'm sad I can't eat it as much because health reasons. Oh boy. Stray good, Zalf? Oh yeah, you've been playing it, huh? How is it? What's the- what's the five-word review? The five-word, don't want to spoil anything, but give some sort of description review. Blue. Do you get to, do you get to do a big stretch? Is there a button that lets you do the cat big stretch? Please tell me there is. Dun 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 dun. What's with all the cameras? Okay, okay, sassy. Ah! Look at that. The objective's right there. That must be the way to Metal Gear. Oh, wait, is that? I see a robot? Launch prevented. Oh, that's just a nuke. Is that it? That's it? We just prevent the launch of the nuke? All right. Tell me there's credits with an ending or something. Ocelot? Ooh. All right, y'all. Koss, do you read? You've done it. You prevented a nuclear catastrophe. <laughs> All in a day's work. Not as tough as I thought this mission was going to be, though. Almost too easy, I'd say. Almost as if the guards wanted me to stop the launch. Oh! No! You're telling me? Did I just get Metal Geared? Well, regardless, serious congratulations are in order. You've done more than we ever could have by ourselves. By yourselves? 
What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's just impressive to us how easily you were able to be manipulated for this mission. Manipulated? Who is this? What happened to command? Still just as clueless as ever. You really didn't think you were actually stopping the launch, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! No! We only needed you for your gecko ID, for the computer to recognize you in order to prepare another, bigger launch. Launch of a full game? This is, after all, the gecko facility we overtook, isn't it? You. It can't be. Yes, it's finally time. I was wondering why Command didn't have a portrait. It's time for the Red Hawks to rise and retake what is rightfully ours. Gecko Kind will be no more, all thanks to you. You played your part, Gecko. You are no longer needed. Until next time, Cos. Pew. Dun 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 dun. It wouldn't be Metal Gear without a twist. Woo! How am I enjoying Metal Gear Gecko? We really just beat it. <laughs> we just beat it, and thanks for the congratulatory Ray Lemonade Cafe. We're about to switch over to Ocarina of Time, but I will say, I'm hoping that this Raptor Soft Studios, Soto Raptor, Normal Human 6, they did a fantastic job with this. It was pretty simple all things considered but they spent the time to polish it they know what they're doing i i hope that it was specifically a teaser for uh, a bigger more fleshed out experience maybe with a full story i don't know definitely want to play more metal gear now so watch out for twin snakes maybe sometime this year maybe maybe but uh yeah not much more I can say though. It's it's a nice little bite-sized experience. Go ahead and play it for yourself if you want. Um, but in the meantime, let's go uh, prepare to switch. Uh, if you're on the YouTube, follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Next time I check out a game like this or play Metal Gear or I don't know, play uh, Miles Edgeworth. I almost said Miles Morales. <laughs> That's a different Miles. Or uh, Ocarina of Time, something like that. And I'll see ya. Uh, if you're on Twitch, uh, stick right on by. <laughs>